I'm headed to go get some gold. Hopefully it's late. Uh, well, after 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And I got to hike in. So I'm not going to have much time. And I'm not going to bring a gold trap. I'm just going to go in and pan. And I'm going to the other location. And hopefully get some gold. Catch you there. I made it in y'all recognize this spot I was really hoping the water level was gonna be down because I wanted to get down there and on the other side but it ain't happening today no thank you water moving at eight miles an hour is something like 800 pounds or 8,000 pounds or something on the body I don't think I want to try to cross but anyway so I stopped here notice this uh, Nice bottle up point. Look at these. One, two, three, four, five. We'll call that one fairly good size too. Six, six good size boulders. I've already wedged this one over. It was sitting right here. And I've managed to use my somewhat larger bar. What is that? Uh, two feet or better long. And I've been propping it up and getting it out of the way. I'm going to flop it over here. But before... I do, or before I do, I decided there was some material down in here. I'd clean that out the best I could. It wasn't even a half a pan of material, and there was five colors in it. Only two of them were about 50 mesh in size. The other ones were fly poop. So I just sucked them up in the snuffer bottle. So now I'm going to try to get that boulder out of the way and see what I can do about moving some others. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that one. I don't know. We'll see. So. Away I go. Seems to be a good spot. Water comes down and around. The corner over here, and when it's really high, it's raging up over the top of this stuff. And obviously, it's dropping out heavies in here. And I did find some hematite, hematite. So that's a good sign, also. Right. Got that boulder out of the way. Got that one out of the way. And I've already dug down in there. That material's in my bucket, but I decided before I started checking what I've got in there, which is probably about a quarter to a half a bucket, if that, um, this crevice right here, and I got about 30 pieces, I mean, what was it, about a scoop of material, like that scoop right there, if that, nothing huge. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's all in there. That's pretty cool. 30 pieces and one little scoop of material. Nice. A lot of heavy sands in here, so we'll see. So about maybe 20 minutes later, I have not dug any more here. I was just about ready to take down what I had and pan it out, and I said, you know, there's an awful lot of black sands in this material that was in here. I didn't figure it was going to be that deep of a pocket, but it fooled me. Silver tablespoon. And of course the material was up, up to here, so I mean just maybe that much of the shovel or that much of the spoon would have been showing if I drove it down in there and I used my uh, little baster sucker I made to clean out the bottom so I'm gonna pan that and also inside there it's a nice big old spike so heavies are definitely dropping out here I like it so I'm gonna go ahead and pan this little bit of material I've got and see what's in it 
worked out to be two full pans and about a three quarter of a pan. And there's another 19 colors in there. One of them's pretty chunky. That one right there. The rest are fairly small. Now the question is, I shouldn't have done, I shouldn't have added that pocket to what I dug out of here, because now I don't know if it came from over there or over here or some from there, some from there. I don't know. So now I got to dig some more here and check. All right. So after I filmed last, I did. It's been about an hour, hour and a half. I did three more pans out of there. Only got like one piece of fly poop. So the gold that I got came out of there where that spike was and then I dug a hole right in here and there was like three or four I did two test pans here um, three or four fly poops in each pan and then I said you know what I'm gonna go up here I took a look around of course I got a bit out of that crevice and that was only a tiny bit of material so I came up here and I worked this all that up in there and I swept it all the way down into this pocket right here and I scooped it up. Last hoorah of the day. Hoorah! Got a bunch of lead, a bunch of pieces of lead. Took that out of the river. That'll be going home with me. Taken care of properly. And I don't know how many pieces I'd say 50 or more. Easily. Just out of that one little crevice up there. So that's pretty cool. So I got what? Uh, what was it? 19 or 20 out of there. I can't remember how many. Uh, seven or eight or nine pieces of fly poop <clears throat> about 10 here and I think there was 19 pieces out of that so that's not bad just for panning for a few hours four or five hours or so not even so I'm happy I'm gonna pack up and head home the Sun has gone down a while ago and I'm kind of shivering a bit here shiver me timbers so Thanks for watching, October 19th. Thank you to all the Green Mountain Gold Trap family, the subscribers, which are family to me. And uh, don't forget to like, share, comment. And for those who have not subscribed, subscribe. It's free. Take care. Green Mountain Gold Trap is done for the day.